Do it to your face. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Kinky. Hey, what's up? How you doing, girl? <laughs> this title contains depictions of suicide, self-harm, abuse, trauma, and bullying that some people might find distressing. Others may find as life. The makers do not intend whatsoever to encourage or make light of self-harm and suicide. If you feel that you are at risk of suicide or self-harm, please seek medical and or professional advice, treatment, and or support from experts in the field of suicide and self-harm prevention. If you need immediate assistance, please contact a local hotline or hospital. If you notice someone around you who appears to be struggling, try talking to them. One brave step can save lives. Uh, crisis hotline phone numbers. Anyway, hello, Internet. Welcome to, well, my family room. My wife's in the other room, so she's taking the cup. Get the cat away from me. Get the cat away from me. Get the cat away from me. Go to bed. Dingus. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Wife's going to be using the computer, so I'm out here. Plus, I wanted to play Silent Hill, and it's on the PS5, not on the computer. So. Ah! Uh, ha, 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 ha. But I can't multi-stream from the PlayStation, so... The video will be on YouTube later. You, you all get it late. It won't be live. And that's what you get. You know what you did. You know what you did. Moving on, let's go. Let's play a game. Would you like to play a game? No, You're weird. Go to bed. Dialogue. I want all the dialogue. Night butt face. <laughs> Subtitles. Excellent. Excellent. Everything appears to be correct. I wanted to play with the the headphone settings, but that's fine. I don't have a 3D fucking headphone anymore. It allows you to hear from all directions, so if a monster's over there, it'll sound like it's over there. Your mom's cool. Not! All right, if you feel that you're... Um, we already read this, dog. How, how many times you got to warn us? It's fine. It's fine. Just Seeking let, a connection oh, with others is a sign of weakness. Agreed. It's running away. Fair. The strongest animals don't form groups. Well, that's not entirely true. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves... <sighs> To fit into a group? Her pathetic. Okay, I do agree with that. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that. Well, if you're strong on your own without me. a group, would you not need anyone to understand it? Why is your hair behind your glasses? Fix that. That is wrong on so many levels. Oh Angela. I don't know, were you? I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Uh, we got a whole James Sunderland shit going on here. Also, is that an iPhone? I think it is. Hmm. Or, like or if they got paid for that. Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Someone drew a weird volleyball on the wall. That's... I mean, whatever, I guess. It's fine. Maybe it's a manhole cover. It's an artistic interpretation of a manhole cover. Right. I'm feeling a little boxy. 
Welcome to the city of no hope. Beef. Oh. This model. Is it this building? Judging from what we saw from outside, I'm thinking yes. Also, why are there what are these two huge carve outs? Is it does it like plug in other buildings like a Lego brick? What the fuck? It's odd. Who designed this? Four two six seven free dom. Oh, whoever painted this was a huge fan of Fast and the Furious. Their plans are. I'm bad with German. Their plans are Unrung von Kettenstadt. The plan to rebuild Kettenstadt. An overview. Kettenstadt, a town with a long history, is a thriving border stronghold in recent years. Those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization! The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem. But by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents wow. dreamed of Fucking this. Fucking teenagers, tell you what. <laughs> Shit on everything. Major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize, owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures. Due to unfortunate external circumstances, Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measure has been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. Yeah, pretty much. It sucks, but, you know, we're not really given many options, you judgmental shit stain. Where are you, Maya? Where are you? Uh, keep out! Get out! Thick! Incompetent leaders. Why? Victory! Poland. Someone said we got a Tim Pool fan here, I guess. Or Podon? Podon? Pod? Uh, Don't, don't sit. It's oh, locked, Jim. It's locked. The life. No good news. Ain't that the fucking truth? Anarchy. You will never become anything, dog. I'm aware. All right, I'm living it. Don't fucking rub it in, you dick. Keep out. Get out of dry. Release your soul. A little dramatic. Okay. You don't know it. Oh. No. Ah, no. Oh, someone left their baby here. That is just irresponsible. I don't care if its head is on backwards. I'll spray paint the fucking couch. It's gonna be all crunchy. It's not gonna be comfortable anymore. Itagen plan. Villa. Hallway, courtyard, and stairs. I should probably quit reading fucking random nonsense and actually start trying to get some. Oh, that's cute. We got an artist. We got an artist. Made a little Mrs. Smiley. A little Mrs. Smiley there. No exit. Well, thank you. Subtitles. Trapped. I could not have read that on my own. I've always been trapped. I don't know, you know what it feels like to be an adult, bitch? I'm still feeling so judgmental. Oh, hey, they got one of those coin return things. No. Notice a provisional meeting. To all villa residents, we have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. No, and go fuck yourself. The Glaive! A 
Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty little evil jester clown guy. Open. It's already fucking open. Just put whatever. Swag. I could use some swag. Maya? Angelou? Don't be manipulated. Believe in your senses. We'll repaint it all. I thought I saw a prompt. Oh. Hmm, pretty. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... Or Chris Brown. Or Amazing. Charlie Baker. Or Claire Bennett. I could have been a lot of people, the dog. City's a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. That's disgusting. What are you hiding inside? Yeah, blood, meat, the usual. Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? I don't know, man. I don't even know you. Wow. Well, here, kitty. Kids, hi. Nope, that's a baby. I don't care about babies. Full of graffiti artists, spray paint in a blank wall, all you need. In catching shots, the walls in particular, upon and building on the canvas for several artists. With a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for cherry blossom. That might be why she picked it. CP's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. Uh, All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. You could try. That to be more talented. Or to be more different, I guess. Dead end ahead. Satan baby, is that you? Satan baby, hurry down the chimney tonight. Who's there? Doogie Hauser. Emil, Emily, are you asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good. Taking your meds. Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay, I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. <laughs> That's a relief. Yeah, it could be if I knew who the fuck Emily was. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe the little baby doll in the shopping cart had left. But no, that lazy fuck is still sitting where we left it. What a shit. Ooh. Loser. Insane. Creep. Loser. Cry baby. Liar. Purpose. Hey, I'm feeling called out, game. Stupid. Freak. Oogle, you will never become anything. Goddamn, game. What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Stupid! Liar! Crazy! 
fucking moron. Dumb. Go to hell. She never said anything nice. Is this your artist friend you're talking about? Child abuse neglect in Kettenstadt. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstadt last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the coups. I think your mother's the coups. My mom loved me. You're delusional. <laughs> right there she said it. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Shut up. Fat. Slut. Get lost. It's all your fault. This game is very rude. I don't know why it's picking on me. Oh wait, what are the books here? Scientific progress. Basic architecture. And mysticism of the night, I think. It's hard to read. Anyway. We don't appear to be able to scope it. So, oh, I'm not seeing any new insults. She's a rose or she's a rouse? Anyway. I hate you! Satan, baby. Person. I've taken enough medication. Have you? Because, uh, it kind of seems like you're seeing shit. I'm just saying. This doesn't seem like things that happen in the real world, per se. Huh? Well, that was in the trailer. Well, that was, like, previews of what's going to happen in the game. So, not yet. Oh my god, this place is so, like, technologically advanced. The doors open as you approach. That's amazing. They don't even look like electric doors. In the membrane. It could be blood. Maybe someone's making bathtub Kool-Aid. You don't know. I'm very messy with their bathtub Kool-Aid. Okay, fine. It's probably blood. There's a razor blade on the sink. I was gonna say, you don't have to show us, it's fine. We get it. <laughs> mom. So is mom dead? Is that what I'm supposed to take from this? My I mean, mom's clearly a bitch. Satan, baby. I thought we were gonna pull some typical Silent Hill shit and I'd open the door and a different room would be over here. Yes. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. Oh, wait. What about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. Well, fuck you too, bitch! Goddamn! I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously, I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. What the fuck is going on in this city? I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. <laughs> That's fucking dark. They feel bad, you know. All of them. Satan, baby. Girl, you might be over-medicated. Just, just a smidge. Pretty sure you're not supposed to be on, like, six different antidepressants simultaneously. Eh, then again, I'm not a doctor. What the fuck do I know? Maya? I already did. It was about child abuse statistics in this town. Why is... Okay, like, if the phone were glitching out, that would make sense. Why are my eyes glitching out? Oh, new tunnel. Run! Whatever my character's name is, run! What the fuck? 
What the fuck indeed, my friend? What the fuck indeed? Oh my god, I peed a little! Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? I don't know if you were stuck around, we could have found out. No, you had to run away like a coward. Yes? I want to show you. You here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There are monsters here, are you okay? Hot take. Maya's dead. We're being texted by a ghost. Or by mental illness. It's, no, it's a Silent Hill game, so the most likely things are either Maya's dead and she's being called, this girl's being called to Silent Hill to process grief or trauma, or she's suffering a mental health crisis and the texts aren't real. Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Ket Kettenstadt has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Why just girls? That's sexist. Despite repeat events, the building, abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter it, and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please, <laughs> not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. So is your face. Oh, those are paints. I thought they had, like, fucking middle school-ass markers on the table. God damn, that was bright. Fuck you. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in. Then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is she not replying? Come on! Why indeed? I have to find her. I mean... This painting may be illustrative of why she's not responding. She said that she wants, or she views the cherry blossoms on the subject's bodies to be emblematic of scars that they're trying to heal, and would suggest sexual trauma. That's just a theory, but yeah. These doors don't open. Fucking lame ass apartment building. Ooh, talismans. I want to go in here. There's something evil in here. I want to go. God damn it. Also, that one. What? These talismans are meant to ward off or seal evil spirits. I watch anime. I know things. So I want to know what they're trying to seal in. Fuck you. Also, this one looks like used toilet paper. Someone just took a clump of wet toilet paper and stuck it to the door. I'll say if this was the monster's gone, right? It's gone, right? If this were a more Where is the studio? If this game were based more on Western mythology, then instead of sealing talismans on the door, there'd be a line of salt in front of it. Hmm? Kinda looks like it, right? But salt in Western cultures is seen as a purifying agent, so you put a line of salt on the ground and demons can't cross it. God, I know so much useless shit, which is why I can't get a job. All right, let's continue on through the apartment complex from hell. Can I open this door? Can I jump? I mean, everybody's doing it. Famous suicide spot. Say, I told you everybody's doing it. You don't want to be left out. All the cool kids are jumping. You're a table. Was there something? To, oh, there was something. 
Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers in interviews said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they post online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend furthermore even when acknowledged the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair seeking more attention to fill the void teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation says the guy on twitch Is there anything else for us to play with? I like to play with things. Ooh. Demon Shadow. I will swallow your soul. Joke's on you, bitch. I ain't got a soul. Trash room. That's rude. I mean... Probably should clean up a little bit. Too much to call it trash room. It's fucked up. Dream big. Die nice and slow here. Also, Dana. Hey, it's a Mountain Dew logo. Oh, never mind. Hum drum. I hope you're all right. Now, Maya's dead, girl. The question is, did she die in this complex, or did she die before your dumb butt ever came here? That's that's where we're... What I'm trying to figure out. Amelie? Amelie? Uh, by the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So? Once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not my okay! Bit of an overreaction, cool. Only doesn't get it. Yo, mama, don't get it. Hey. Gotcha. So you don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town say graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates. Talk about me. How dare they? Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. Teddy bear. Remarkably clean considering the environment. CB! Keep out! Get out or stay. What? Anyway. It looks like this is get out or Daisy. For bleed. Maya. Are you Sunderash. here? Is this your studio? I like the hot plate on top of the oven. We gotta have a system of redundancies. You never know when someone's gonna fail. Skizenbeek. Are these Maya's sketches? Sucker. These aren't even finished. And they look this good. 
Your mom looks this good. They seem happy. A new life. Am I supposed to represent that she's pregnant? That wouldn't really be a scar, I would. So say. full of life. Hey, that one was different. My are you here? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. I wasn't done with the schism beak. Reply? Where are you? If she was up your ass, you'd know. Am I going crazy? Signs are pointing that way, yeah. Well, let me look at the rest of the schism buke. There was a boy's picture on the last page. Oh, well, you see, there's your problem. You forgot your dang wing nut on the back of the... What she posted, it's not finished. Even more followers. I lost followers again. I wish I had followers. Some new followers here. I Little bear. Last mile. Stop with the boring photos already. Loser. No sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, kids are dicks. Wow, you hate your followers? Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Come on, we want sexy stuff already. Can fly. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. That is really bothering me that she wears her hair inside her glasses. Selfishly. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. Thanks, Anita. Um, no. Accepted Maya's death yet? Oh. <gasps> huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's dead. Yeah, dog. It's been pretty obvious. Maya's really dead. Uh, how? How could I forget? Why, indeed! Find it. Find it. Who? The pouring the old man is snoring? What? Hip! Thug life! I don't know, I said hip. Oh, the monster's back. Gonna die. Oh, that's not good.
Are we there yet? Whoa! You're in hell. <laughs> Maya died. Her art lives on. Even more followers. No one is ever going to notice me. Who cares? Just the guy on Twitch. Who's telling her it's her fault? Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. That was a short game. Oh, you broke your phone. Ah, just kidding, I wasn't really too. Oh, God. Oh. The manhole got bigger. Am I back at the villa? But why didn't I die? We're not done with you yet. <laughs> oh, the manhole's bleeding. That's new. You find it. Find what? Can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me! What the fuck? Fuck the what? I spook in your butt. <laughs> you have spooky butt. The typical theme of Silent Hill is people get trapped in the city because of a dark god that's making them stay there until they can either forgive themselves for something they feel guilty about in their past, or they're consumed by it. More often than not, they become consumed by it. You can't leave until you find it! The city of no hope. Oh, someone broke the display case. That's fucked up. Was it? Well, then I'm just not paying attention to shit. My battery died. Oh, no. I mean, to be fair, no ghosts can't text you anymore. That's got to be a good thing, right? Ooh, someone wrote on the fridge. That's new. Bad girl gets an empty plate. Bad girl gets an empty plate. 
Thanks, Mom. I was able to open this before. Oh well. I can't read this anymore either. It's all your fault. Yeesh. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Pash was the next one I was in. Yeah. It definitely says something. Slut, bitch, it's all your fault, loser. Ugly. Uh, what? Freak. Stupid. Who would do this? I'm going to go out on a limb and say someone who didn't like Maya very much. Let's see, did we miss anything in that other room? Just double check it. So there was something written over here before, like an article. Nerp. We're good. <coughs> Kel. Oh, this door's open. This wasn't open before, I don't think. Okay, that's just not how you play darts. You sure don't put it Pretty fucking sure. I don't think the board will last very long. Also, come on, guys. We gotta be a little more careful where we're throwing shit. My cowboy. Eat shit. <laughs> Wait, Whatever. it's back on? How could somebody do this? You're so full of yourself. What is this shit? Oh, here we go. More people with messed up views. Your art sucks. Worst you ever saw. Some Fuck people you. really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Interesting. Hey, there used to be ground down there. Also, like the little face on the other side. I remember this room. That's what she said. Am I getting Groundhog's dead? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. Is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please, tell me. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Yes, Can you should have. Really not say anything, like at all. So what did you think of the book? 
The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? No. <laughs> you crazy person. I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Ah. Uh... Anyway. I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. <sighs> what is with all the fucking post-its? <laughs> I can't wait to read more. By a vowel. I think we've been here. Oh, this door's open. That's new. If you want food, do what I say. You want food? Do what I say. Hey, man, your mom kind of sucks. In Japanese culture, there's long been a sense of beauty and sacrifice, with the harakiri, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach, being a prime example. The idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, where death is needed to protect that life. Teenage student has building, okay. What'd you say? Your mom's there on the floor now. Oh, hey, beds. I could use a nap. It's a Japanese bed, gah. Culturalist swine. They'll do uh, like a mat like this to sleep on. And then when they're done sleeping, they roll it up or fold it up, depending on the style of mat, and they'll put it in a closet or something so they're not eating up the floor space with an actual full bed. Belief in the Witch of Kettenstadt. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstadt share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and a goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to the belief in witches. So we're supposed to be in Germany. That's what I was curious about. God damn it, my eyes. wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune I'm assuming nothing. A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. And those are ladies. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. Of course you do. You're I an artist by nature. We're all crazy. Was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like... Some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own.
came from that way, so let's go this way. Ooh. We get to see the trashy room. Oh. No, it's just legitimately a room full of trash. Okay, well. That's less fun than what I was hoping for. This is all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend. My place in this world. All of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call this shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, 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 fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. I'm wondering if it's the Emily person that's texting me. Got pissed off because our character started to, like, want to hang out with this Maya chick. Universität San Fjörung. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshmen, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of your <laughs> oldest and most revealed institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details! September 24th, 2021. Where? Where? School of Medicine, Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Amelie, I can fly. You got a minute to talk? Sha, sure, what's up? You seemed kind of out of it before. If, something bo if something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. No, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I hear women be shopping. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. Go sh so shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. No, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've, You've got the looks! You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm suddenly very interested in this North River. That was a dope ass poster. I'd hang that shit. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't nerf my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he's probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school in town showing so much skin. What did your brother do? I think I'm finally finding my steady grieve. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked Mom why, but she wouldn't say. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me, and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and Dad. Yao yeah, man. The Gisikschloss family. Family. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Could have played some Minesweeper or some shit. Uh, see, I'm finally focusing my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me a troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting my first choice. All right, time to hit the books till morning. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got cancelled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen, even if things had worked out not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing due to the buildings. The, the, not that I'd be up. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. What a dump. I like my version better. Shut up. I was moving a reference. My future isn't here, it's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to go get out before my brother comes back. What the fuck did your brother do? I would say I'm curious, I'm more frightened. Sally's Empty Dream. Wartorbeek. Wartorbeek. Biology, physics. 
the English Dictionary. Mathematics, Sapiens. Biology, the English Dictionary again. God damn, how many dictionaries do you fucking need? Uh, scientific Progress, another copy of Sapiens. Girl just likes to collect books, I guess. Okay, that's the one we already read. We're moving on. We got some shit to see. Hopefully nothing e eats me. Stay home alone. Yeah, that's what I just said. I don't... Why are you yelling at me? I literally just read it. And fucking scream in my ear. It's rude as shit. Oh, look, pins. The penis mightier. Uh, I got some materials. My first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I still can't believe it. <gasps> Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. If you study your ass off, it's going to hurt when you sit down. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing. No way. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. I only hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. I'm starting to wonder if our main character and this Amelie girl are the two that are dead. And they're talking about the other girls being dead because she's the one who's still alive and they're trapped in some nightmare world after suicide. Young student found dead. Possible suicide. God damn it. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of Kettenstadt apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary is found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? <clears throat> Amelie couldn't fly. I'm sorry, that was tasteless. I just... I think we have to go this way. Oh, trash room. Okay, now we're going this way, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm fucking turning around. We'll figure it out. Ooh. Yes, Satan? Is that you, buddy? No, it's just... Yeah, the one clean room in the entire... Oh, I'm in a school. Who designed this fucking city? Ooh, water fountain. Nom, 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 nom. I feel better. Well, I mean, she's walking around that dusty-ass apartment. She's got to be dried out, not to mention probably full of fucking mold at this point. Oh, hey, ghost class. What's up, guys? I am short. Ow. Bitch. Why are you throwing a shoe? How are you going to walk around, fucking weirdo? Okay, an empty soda bottle. That makes more sense to throw, at least. She's a witch! Ban her! Ban! Freak! No wonder nobody likes you at school. I can't read it though. It's fucked up. Is that. I'm sorry, that looks like a bag full of pills labeled no drugs. Oh, I can't get closer. Yep. Bag full of pills labeled no drugs. Or is that a, just a sticker, maybe? I don't know. Uh, guys, do you mind getting the fuck up out of my way? Dicks. What over here? Nerp. Wow, you have some fucking abnormal fingers. What the fuck? <coughs> Alright, fine. I'm going back the way I came. See if I give a fuck. Alright, fine. I'm not going back the way I came. Let's see if I give a fuck. Nine Zudrogen. No two drugs. 
I know very, very little German. Can I like climb on the desk maybe? Is that hmm. Oh hey You've got the looks, you've got the looks Wait, what's this? Oh I can't get to it. There's like a little red dot up there, it looks like something new. Her battery's holding up remarkably well. <coughs> hey, fuck stick. Out of the way. Oh, here we go. The witch's locker. What the hell? Get out, you freak slut. Your art's fucking you weird, freak. Cut, you piece of shit. Your mom's fucking weird. Thief, go away. Hey man, sex works real work. Don't be shaming. Oh, I know this is supposed to be horrifying. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I would walk down this hallway. Insane in the membrane. My split personality on I wanted to look at my locker. Uh... <clears throat> my eyes are shorting out again. Get out. Fine, fuck it, I won't look at my locker. You guys want to be dicks about this. <laughs> Immediately starts running. Don't run. Fuck you. Are these m mouths on the walls? Eyeballs. My water fountain. Loser. Stupid. These kids are not creative at all. My syphilitic whore. That's fun with it, you know? Tell me to live my life. Alright, I found my way back to Maya's studio. Why are you chasing me? I'm bored! Not again. Not again. What did I do to deserve this? Find it. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. It's a fucking bot. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to find? Oh, hey. Yeah, I didn't have a face before. She painted it to look like our, our character. The girl in this picture. Oh, I guess it's Amelie. Never mind. Is Amelie. So presumably, I think that's what we were supposed to find. Maybe, I don't know.
This guy looks familiar. Yeah, last time I tried to look at you, you immediately closed the fucking book on me, you bitch. They're hurt. Yeah, it looks like he's got flowers radiating from his butt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Amelie. Right? Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. No, don't touch me! Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. <clears throat> Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> I only ever cared about Amelie. didn't see me. I was invisible to her. You killed her. No, I'm guessing. We'll find out. And back to the school. So I'm back at school. Learn. This library looks different. There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. So I'm assuming this is before, like, right before Maya killed herself. Where was it? That book. Is it the German book or the LEARN book? There's a lot of German books and a lot of LEARN books and a lot of Sapiens. Habits are, is it habits are everywhere? Everything. Start the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for city slump. Rip. Kenstadt continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is a mere 0.7, less than half of the German nation average. 1.6. Miscarriages are also at 31%, more than double the average. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself. Twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch. There's the cause of the economic downturn in Kettenstadt. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stimming its growth. So, it is a Curse. There was. Why me? As far as the Could curse, I have curses to be are cursed like this. So I think that's a red herring, but find it. I found a lot, man. Tell me, is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? 
Is it a backpack? Is that what I'm supposed to find? I found a backpack. Am I... Do you want me to find a pencil? Because I found a pencil. Oh. Ghost lady. I found papers. All rolled up like... Is that, is that what you want? I wonder if I have any Calvin and Hobbes comics. The witch hunt of Kettenstadt. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind the, that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. There's a picture of a uterus on the front of the box. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. Which is like, I didn't do that. Shit. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Oh, it's just a shiny book. I'm a shiny dancer. A dancer for money! I want more shit to read. Sapiens! I'm really proud of that book and the 4,000 copies of it they have. Ooh, what's Looks this? Looks like there's space for a book here. I still I wait for you. I know these. <sighs> no way. Way no. All right, so we gotta go find our locker again. Nein zu Drogen! This just seems like the kind of area where you get chased by something. Or we open that door and a huge wall of blood washes down the hall. That'd be fun. Burr? It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? Burr. I've never seen a man like that before. Who smeared their paint covered hands over the hallways? Are you alright, Anita? I'm dead. You left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That feels like the kind of thing you should respond to. But we're not going to. Let's go. Well, do you tell her that, not us? Did they put Maya's desk in the hallway? Is that... Oh, here we go. Liar! Maya 
a stalker. Well, no, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. My locker. Why is it locked? To protect your shit? Something I don't want to see. Uh, I've not seen any hint of a code here, so. Nope, there's no kind of like feel. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Nope, that didn't help us. Huh. Well, let's look around for some clues. Weech! Let's see. If we, can we manipulate these to make them look like numbers? Zero four one seven. All right, that's really fucking rough. Wait, what about down here? Looks like two one seven sevens been spray painted on the floor. Two one seven seven torn it. Although, come on, come on. Well, this is two and three sevens, and the one seven's crossing over the two. Now. That wasn't it either. Shitty tits. Ah, uh, let's see. What was that? I said zero one four seven. That doesn't seem right, though, right? That could be a one. But then that would be like oh, I don't even know. Like that's not a good zero. Hmm. Where am I? Like four zero seven zero maybe, or it says Koto. What about at Maya's locker? Could there be a clue here? A shit ton of bloody razor blades. I didn't notice that before. That is fucked. Get out! Get out! Nice headphones, though. Two. Okay, we gotta look around the room. One. Zero. Three. The question is, where do we start? Oh, I see. No, no. Black, red, yellow, blue. So zero, three. One, two. I know what's inside, and I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? Japanese novel, Juzo, March 10th report deadline. She's organized, you gotta give her that. Remember when I said <clears throat> I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. 
I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. A whole new world! I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Amelie. Just... Me and you. Maya... She was asking Amelie for help. But... I just... knows you can only have one friend uh, I <coughs> only wanted to take her down a bit she, she was taking the job Haku. away from me she wouldn't pay attention to me <sighs> how was i supposed to know she'd actually kill herself <laughs> i should say i can't take much more of this and other Anyway, whatever, it's fine. That's not fine, it's fucked up. So my my theory is... Well, obviously it's not a theory anymore. They just told us she hid the fucking letter to keep Amelie to herself. And then Maya killed herself. And then Amelie couldn't live with us, so Amelie killed herself. And now our character's trying to kill herself, but she's being trapped all silent, hilly style, in a prison of her own guilt. Man, teenagers. Drama! Oh. It's like every fucking teenager, all high schools, they're all like this. People kill themselves. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Being called a weech. A weech! Ban her! Oh, I thought that said MILF for a second. <laughs> a weird thing to see in a locker in a high school. <laughs> it seems normal to hear people talk about it, but to like post it on their lockers, that's a little weird. It's all your fault. I mean, I'm kind of leaning that way too. My character's kind of a shit. <laughs> yeah, you're being suicidal whenever you stole my friend. Fuck you. Yeah. We gotta run away again.
I just want a big ass circle. Going that way, and we keep going in a circle. So it's not going that way this time. Oh, oh whoops! <laughs> I was looking the other way. Rudeness. I was killed by a cherry blossom monster. I've been blossomed. <laughs> nope, you're not allowed to die yet, little one. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Not yet, but you will be. Lights will guide us. The lights will show us the way. It is all my fault. You're right. It's all your fault. The ho ho. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh fuck. Aren't you behind me? That feels unfair. Battery's low. It's fucking plugged in. Oh, must have gotten unplugged. Ball sweat. All right, fine, fuck it. Are you here to punish me? Yeah, dog. That that part seems pretty fucking clear. <sighs> Monsters in Silent Hill are <coughs> typically. Though not always. So it's supposed to be some kind of manifestation of the player character's guilt. Usually it's slightly more abstract than here's something that looks vaguely in the shape of the individual and is covered in something they use to represent themselves. It's usually a little more subtle than that, but you know. But it's less, if this is going by typical rules, it's less supposed to be Maya and more a physical manifestation of the guilt our character feels. It's all your fault. Fuck you, Maya! So you're okay with letting her die because she didn't like you? Think about what you're saying there, girl. They spelled horror wrong. Maya, I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. Anita, what's up? 
I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died because I killed her. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Yeah, this is going to do wonders for Amelie's mental health, girl. Back at the manhole cover. So you ain't done yet. Although I'm kind of curious what is left to be found. Twice! Well, we're going full Nightmare Silent Hill now. Oh, hey, it's my corpse! That's... interesting. Even if I die, this doesn't end. How many times do I have to go through this? I don't know, count the corpses. I guess I wouldn't give you an answer, though, would it? Find it. Why won't you say anything? She did say something. She said, find it. <laughs> See, the misspelled whore. Again, I know not the most relevant thing. I'm just, you know, it's bothering me. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls kill themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? The ground? Were they jumping away from something or to something? No, running away. Oh, my corpse is gone. That's not at all concerning. Not totally fine with that. Hey, the baby had babies. <laughs> no future. Don't you dare go outside. I mean, I don't seem to be able to if I want to, so I'm on it, Mom. Stay with my beer. No hope. Can I squeeze? Nope, too fat. Trash room is now sealed. This, I believe, is Amelie's apartment. No, no, no exit. Your mom's got no exit. Oh, I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm not sure I would trust the elevator in this place anyway. No future, no exit. Well, they're doubling up on the messages now. That's 
gotta mean progress, right? Oh, I want to marry a lighthouse keeper and keep him. How are we getting chased again? My phone's broken. I mean, I guess that'll happen when you jump off a roof with it, though. Go away. Got nowhere else to go. My, my mom lived here. This is our living room. Oh, good. I gotta pee. Oh. Oh. All right. I'll, I'll wash up real quick. All right. Let's go. I thought I saw a cigar cutter on the table. Oh, that's not very knife. <laughs> hey! I want to play with the blocks. I love building blocks. Oh, I thought that was Squirtle. And a bear playing the xylophone. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to see here? Because it seems like everything's locked. Oh, here we go. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Ominous! Oh, same of house. Now we're flat ass going straight PT style. Ooh, pizza. Well, Mom's become a drunk. Good cola. That's good. You don't way way better than bad cola. Just my new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. Fuck you, Mom. God damn. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I am I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Modern eating habits. Oh, shit. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do, do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. Fuck you. He told me the banging on the closet door is making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with him? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Good God. That can't be the way it really was, right? Damn. Bitch, the wine out. Look at all the shit. Sakura. Sakura's actually a pretty good beer brand, too. And didn't even open that fucking six pack. Just like, anyway. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. No fucking shit! I should clean it. By the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. 
Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in that in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. What's going on in the closet? Also, why am I shorter? Stop. I guess I'm shrinking down to the child's perspective. She didn't lock one of the babies in the fridge, did she? Miss Krista Planert. We have reached out to you repeatedly. We have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2. Accordingly, the federal court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objection to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher, Kettenstadt Child Welfare Center. Honestly, you shouldn't have any objections to it. I'm just saying your life would be better without them, so... Alright, so what was going on in the closet? That's where the manhole cover is. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. Jesus Christ. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators conducted an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. Sorry, Satan. Dude, your mom was batshit. Knock you up? You're wrong, Mom. I am your daughter. And just like you, I'm cursed. Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Oh, it's running time again. I think we're supposed to go to the right. My chest is in bloom.
we're getting the full Silent Hill treatment now. I have no idea where the hell we're supposed to be going. I'm just choosing directions at random to run. Oh, hey. I saw a toilet. I don't know how that helps us. Don't run. Those are usually the end of the chase sequences. Oh, not yet. Okay. But where the fuck are we going? Oh shit. Hey, buddy. Ah! <laughs> Man, I had to go all the way back here. That's some bullshit. When will this end? Never. It will never end. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. I mean, I can't get in there. It's all locked, but I found a room. Oh, my foot's asleep. Very uncomfortable. And I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Peppers! Butt face.
on the toilet. Mm. Sitting on the toilet. Mm. Everyone blames me. I know I do. I'm kidding. Not that way. Kids. Hey kids. I think actually this way maybe? we released one chain by finding that one room. So we gotta find more of the pictures, I guess. Oh shit. <laughs> Run away! Problem is I don't know where the fuck to look. Oh, there's no one. Oh, do you like what you see? Okay, so I think we have like one more chain to find. Maybe two. Oh, we found the lockers again. At least I can use this because this distance from me and shit stand. Shit stand where I'm like fucking healed. There we go. Alright, I guess it's a little bit farther away from her. Now, what else do we need to find? I think there was a suitcase we ran by because the monster was right on our heels when I saw it. But I think it was clickable, so it's probably another one of the things we had to find. Uh. Oh shit. Hey buddy. Pictures or whatever, gotta be around here fucking somewhere, right? Oh, I really like what you drew me, oh shit, we need two more. 
pick, I was running on my keen since I thought we were closer than we were. <sighs> Farts. Something over here, maybe? Nope. Is that a room? Fuck, I'm in a dead goddamn end. I'm screwed. That's some bullshit. Well, at least now we know what we're trying to do. Whether we can or not is an entirely separate proposition, but we know what to do. It's just a fucking execution! Maybe this is what all these young women see at this fucking tower, and that's why so many of them kill themselves. They get trapped inside of this nightmare dreamscape and end up... Jumping out in front of me like that, it's kinda of fucked up. You're way too hard on yourself. demon kid effigies. There's a monster, so we can't explore any farther this way, fuck. Don't run! I know just what you're saying! Oh, fuck you. Is there more than one of these things? Possible, I guess. I mean, after all, there was more than one pyramid head. Fuck off, god damn. Oh, fuck me, come on, there's gotta be something here somewhere. I already found that one. Wasn't the locker back here somewhere? You're into art, right? You could There's one of the ones we missed on the last time. Alright, so we only have to find, like, fucking two or three more of these damn things. We should figure out where the fuck they were.
No, there's one. What's that? Alright, so we only need the one more. We need to find that fucking oh. locker. You like what you see? Not following it. Okay, okay, there it goes. Just gotta find the goddamn locker. Where the fuck was the locker? Here we go, it's this way. And then we'll just have to avoid these things until we can find her room again. What are you hiding inside? Oh well, fuck you. Yeah, there we go. Got it, it's right there. Made that shit hell while easier. Am I gonna be alone forever? There's the Amelie one. Okay, what am I supposed to interact with? Oh. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist C.B. Maya Akko Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kettenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to all those who are familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. Emily. Is this me? When did she draw this? I don't know, to me it looks just like Amelie. Or the drawing of Amelie. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. And you killed her anyway. Damn, after that last section, I thought we were almost finished. Now I'm salty. Nope, nope, we already read that. Well, we're getting no more normal, that's for damn sure. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. I 
could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. What should I do? Still bothers me the misspelled whore. I mean, you could go down to her memorial and apologize that way. That's super fucked up. She's like taking steps back and all of a sudden she trips and falls anyway. <laughs> Realizes realize that she just dropped her phone off the side. with others is a sign of weakness it's running away the strongest animals don't form groups they act alone and need only themselves to survive those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic there's no living like that but I don't really mind I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Oh, she's one of the rare Silent Hill characters who gets a happy ending. Me too. I also thought I could have sworn Amelie was dead. I could have sworn the newspaper article talking about the girl who killed herself because she didn't get into college was Amelie. Being harassed at school and whatnot. 
and she left a letter behind that was a cry to help to Amelie. Day. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown. But uh, I'll be fine. our I character my kept my Amelie from getting that letter. The reality is, if Maya had, if Amelie had gotten the letter, there's probably, at that point, not a whole hell of a lot she could have done to save Maya. But our character blamed herself for her killing her, the girl killing herself because... It, okay, so to give you an idea of how this usually works, it runs in Silent Hill logic. Silent Hill 2 is about a man named James Sunderland who killed his wife. But he killed his wife because she had a terminal disease and was in the hospital and dying anyway and asked him to put an end to it. So he smothered her with a pillow. But he was also pent up, so to speak, and was sick of not living his life, so there were selfish desires behind it too. So even though she wanted to die and the hospital would not allow her to die, and she was asking him to kill her because of his selfish motivations and his horniness. He blames himself for killing her and experiences a great deal of guilt. So one day he gets a letter in the mail from his wife about a year after she died saying, meet us, meet me in our spot, which was Silent Hill. Because it's a resort community as well as a nightmare shellscape. People don't see both sides. So he goes to Silent Hill looking for his dead wife and then he's forced to go through a bunch of shit that is basically him encountering that guilt and that trauma and trying to process it. And the way Silent Hill is supposed to work is the people who can't deal with their guilt and trauma get trapped there. They become one of the spirits of Silent Hill to help torture other people. If you can process your guilt and trauma, then Silent Hill lets you go. Then you come out the other end stronger. But the monsters are t the monsters tend to be like for James, one of the monsters is Pyramid Head. This is like this manifestation of like male aggression and whatnot. And one of the earliest scenes is Pyramid Head not necessarily raping one of the other monsters, but acting out the act of rape upon another monster. And there's other monsters like the nurses that are all sexy like ladylike, but their faces are burned off because James is focused on one aspect of women and not the other. And there's a, a human character he encounters that you watch die three or four times over the course of the game. But she looks just like his wife, but she's like a sexy, loose, carefree, and that's another aspect of his trauma and his So, yeah, this girl was experiencing guilt, and you can say... I don't know what the bathtub and the blood was about. I mean, I guess that was just because she has scars up her wrists. So I guess that was just where she cut herself. The bathtub being full of blood's a little weird, because, like, yo, you would have died from that. I had assumed her mother didn't end up killing herself. But anyway, so she felt guilty for Maya's death. And so this whole thing was her processing that guilt. Which, within that constraint, her traumatic background is not... I, I think it's supposed to be like a uh, justification for why maybe she didn't give that note to Amelie. But in the constraints of what Silent Hill's about, you don't really need the tragic backstory. She could have just been... A, she's a teenager. She could have been being a selfish little shit. And it turned out very badly. You know... But yeah, that was just, it was her processing her feelings of guilt for allowing Maya to kill herself because if only she'd given that letter to Amelie, then maybe Maya would still be here. But yeah, I, I flat ass, I thought she was going to be one of the many souls who do not find a way to process and just die. Oh, that's sweet. I assumed we were going to get 
a thing I wanted to see. I could have sworn we were going to get a preview of Silent Hill 2 in here. Like a video or something. That's lame. That's lame. They're remaking Silent Hill 2. That's lame. Oh, well, that was an interesting story. I liked it. It was good. And I'm getting offline now. Okay, everyone, bye! Have a good night! Goodbye! Goodbye! Good night! Goodbye! Good night! Goodbye! Good night! Goodbye! Bye! Bye! Have fun storming the castle!